In this video, I will discuss about the vibrating type level switch. This uh, type of level switch is used for point level uh, control applications in a tank, which means if you want to uh, sense the overflow of a tank or if you want to prevent uh, the dry run of uh, a pump that is connected to the tank, so this type of uh, level switches are commonly used. So, which means they are generally used for on off applications. So this is based on uh, tuning work, uh, tuning fork uh, principle. If you see a tuning fork that is cycled and hold in air medium, so it produces sinusoidal sound wave and the frequency of this uh, sound wave is governed by the mass and the stiffness of the fork. This is the frequency which is given by the square root of S by M where S is the material constant. So depends or it varies with respect to the material and m is the mass of the tuning fork and the frequency f f natural with which uh, the tuning fork trines these are the two trines or prongs vibrates uh, is called the natural frequency of vibration of the tuning fork this vibrating uh, type or uh, level switch uh, will consist of uh, two piezoelectric uh, crystals so the property of the piezoelectric crystal is if you give an uh, voltage excitation to it so it will um, vibrate and at the same time the effect is reversible if you give a vibration to this uh, piezoelectric crystal it generates uh, this electrical signal here you see this is the block diagram of this uh, vibrating type uh, level switch so this is the um, piezoelectric crystal so which gives vibration to the fork here you see and the same time there is another uh, piezoelectric crystal which monitors these uh, vibrations here if you see this uh, piezoelectric crystal is converting electrical to mechanical and here this crystal is converting mechanical to electrical signal and the, this is it gives a charge which need to convert a voltage by using a charge sensor to pre amplified and it is amplified by using amplified and this amplified signal is because it's an AC signal which is generating is need to be uh, monitored by using a frequency monitoring circuit and there is an output switching circuit depending upon the change in the frequency so whether a relay can be changed or if it is an NPN or PNP output it can be gives the output which can be connected to a PLC so this is the piezoelectric crystal so the commonly used is lead zirconate and titanate which is known as pjt material or other um, piezoelectric uh, materials or uh, quartz or lead titanate so there are different materials are used here if you see if you give an electrical signal it produces a vibration at the same time if you give vibrations to this so it uh, converts to an electrical signal it's a reversible effect so here if we see, so we can we understood the operation of the physioelectric uh, crystal uh, basal level switch. So a physioelectric crystal oxidates the forks, this is the other two for forks at their natural frequency. And changes in these frequencies are continuously monitored by the other physioelectric uh, crystal. Here if you see, whenever there is no medium that is coming in contact with these forks, so it is uh, having a high frequency. So whenever a medium is coming in contact, so the frequency of vibration of the tuning fork or these forks decreases and this decrease in the frequency is monitored by the electronic circuit and it gives an output. So how this frequency decreases, so the denser the liquid or the medium that is coming in contact, so the lower will be the frequency. So this is uh, already I discussed, this is used for point level measurement application that is on or off, here you can see, so whenever the medium becomes in contact with this, so to prevent the overflow, this uh, pumping of mechanism into this tank can be um, uh, switched off and at the same time, if we, so whenever the low level is uh, reached, so in order to prevent any uh, dry run of the pump that is connected uh, to this uh, pipeline, so whenever this low level is reached so it can be used for switching of that uh, pump so or it can also be used for generating an alarm or for opening or closing the walls uh, in the automation process so these are the different outputs the sensor can have one is a single pole single throw switch here you can see whenever there is no liquid so it is basically a no switch so that is connected to plc whenever the liquid um, level is sensed by the switch so it uh, changes the contact and it uh, gives a 24 volts uh, that is signal to the plc so for uh, having an action as per the program 
so i have discussed a single pole single throw which is a relay output so if you want an npr and pnp uh, output so which also can be connected to a plc so these are the different uh, circuit outputs so this is the npn so which is having an npn transistor so this is a syncing sensor so which syncs the signal so this is the pnp sensor output so which is having a pnp transistor so which sources the current to the plc module so here you can see so i have, I have taken an example so this is oscillating uh, frequency of uh, this uh, typical uh, level switch which is a 1400 hertz so this i have taken as an example this frequency so it is vibrating uh, at uh, this particular frequency 1400 hertz so whenever so liquid uh, comes in contact with this uh, tuning fork so the frequency of the uh, vibration decreases so let us see the decrease at 1200 hertz depending upon the density of the medium and this decrease in the frequency is monitored by electronic circuit and gives a uh, signal to the output so these are the typical uh, uh, so examples of where these level switches are vibrating type level which are connected this is a tank so these are the switches that are connected for controlling application or for monitoring applications so the advantage of this vibrating uh, type level switches is very easy to install and it is um, uh, the setup and commissioning is possible without uh, the medium and also this uh, type of uh, level switch is independent of uh, the pressure temperature form viscosity drain size sorry grain size and installation position so these are the some of the advantages of this vibrating uh, type level switch and it is commonly used for uh, point level control applications thank you for watching my video